Hello Lit and Comp 2. This is the first of a few videos that will be posted throughout the week of April 4th through April 8th. I am on an extended leave of absence and so this is just some videos to kind of help support you as you work through 1984 in your Part 2 assessment. So what I'd like to do is um, kind of talk about the goals for this week, talk a little bit about the project, and there'll be different ways to kind of focus in. You have very open workshop, which is also a little bit unstructured. And so the goal here in these videos is to give you some things to kind of focus in on for each day so you don't feel overwhelmed or get, you know, caught in a cycle of not getting stuff done each day that you're working with your sub. So, um... We are picking back up with 1984. We got a little bit halfway through part two before break. Um, these are some of the you know things that stood out to me the most in our class reading, in our seminar, and then also in the reading that you guys did for homework. So part two is triggered by the I love you note, and it leads into a lot of romantic dating in huge air quotes, dating between Winston and Julia, you know, they find ways to meet up with each other. It advances pretty quickly, um, and their feelings for each other are super um, intense and kind of over the top because they do it as a form of rebellion. In the end of chapter two, it was a political act, and ultimately, this is how they rebel. But as we read through, we can see there is some character contrast between Winston, his belief system, his views of Big Brother, his view of, you know, how to change his world and society versus characters like Julia. And so it's interesting to think about how those characters are paired together as romantic love interests, but also how are they in relationship to Big Brother's world and the whole concept of political revolution. Um, so even though they're dating and things like that and enjoying some of the black market goods that Julia especially is able to get her hands on, there's still a lot of unrest. You know, there's a lot of nerve-wracking beliefs about are they going to get caught or how can they change their world. Um, he still very much dreams about Golden Country, but things also get, you know, smacked into hate week. Um, there's a meeting with the O'Brien. All right, so O'Brien's character has finally come back and you know, Julia's character is manifested a lot in part two, and yay, O'Brien, and that look is finally explained. Um, and then finally, there's just some other little things I think are interesting as you read. Um, music tends to be kind of important. Um, the bird was an interesting musical symbol um, early in part two. The rat and Winston's fear and their time in the little apartment above the junk shop has been a really important setting focal point. So hopefully you're thinking about some different things as you get back into 1984 because it's been a while. Um, you've had a lot of wonderful vacation time. So I'm hoping you can kind of hone in on some of these things. But I would definitely look at the themes of rebellion, the characterization of Julia and Winston, and then these new, you know, um, like plot twists like O'Brien. So the goals for this week, <laughs> you need to be reading each day, Monday through Wednesday. I have a pacing guide of what chapters you should read and what you should be able to get accomplished. You have the entire block to read, but like I said, it's an open workshop time. And so you want to make sure that you find um, a productive way to get through the reading to get the notes taken care of. Part two reading should be done by Wednesday the 6th, all right? If you follow that schedule, you should be able to do workshop on your presentations for the part two slideshow, the top five list on Thursday and Friday, and your presentation should be done Monday, April 11th. Uh, when I come back on Monday, April 11th, I'm going to look at your slideshows and offer some quick feedback, but the slideshow should be complete, all right? Um, as you're working, though, the start of this week, Monday through Wednesday, you can start to consider with your group, what is your focus? What is your top five going to be? Um, start thinking about that as you read through. So don't forget, this is the assignment sheet. I'm going to come back to this multiple times in videos this week. So right now, it's still kind of early to just start going with your focus and everything, because there's still some stuff that needs to happen in part two before you kind of get to your overall claim and your overall ahas about the chapters in relationship to part two. But you could start thinking about um, 
really important moments or scenes or chapters and why those are interesting to you. Maybe make a list of that or star it or highlight on your note sheet and then maybe see a continuous thread. Don't forget you got to talk to each other too because if you guys talk about the, the top five um, interesting Julia moments, nobody else should do that. You should only have one person focus in on Julia or one person focus on how Julia and Winston compare and contrast. One person could focus on um, what does Winston want. And then don't forget you have a sample presentation too that you're able to reference. So this is what I produced and shared with you guys before break. And you could kind of start jotting down what are some of your reactions to part two. And what do you think is happening in terms of thesis and claim? And then finally, what are the top five? All right. So today is Monday, um, April 4th. Uh, read, read, read. You have 8 plus 13 pages to read, so that is a pretty chunky read. Um, I don't know if you can sit and plow and read through that all in one sitting. You might read a little bit. You might pair read. So maybe you read for a few minutes and then you and a partner turn around and talk to each other like what we do in class. Um, but you do want to read chapter, that's five, six, seven, and chapter eight. All right. So chapter seven is a little bit shorter than chapter eight. You do have talking points on your sheet. So if I look right now, my talking points are right in front of me on my desk. But um, there's more dreams and memories in this chapter for Winston, especially about his mom. Um, and I think that's curious because he's dreamt about her before. Um, there is a question for you. So what does Winston think is true betrayal? So make sure you can answer that. Like what is the ultimate betrayal in his mind? Like how do you fulfill betrayal? And then finally, they he makes a claim that the party, the government, Big Brother, they can't alter blank. So try to fill in what the blank is, okay? Um, these are kind of my big word choicing. So chapter... Seven is definitely focused on dreams and memories and um, just kind of, you know, the concept of how we feel towards people we love. And then chapter eight is going to look at the brotherhood. Um, and it kind of, it's interesting because you have two kind of um, more mysterious characters or characters we don't have good answers for, the mom and O'Brien. And so what happens is this is the meeting. This is a connection, I believe, to chapter... Uh, six. And what happens is um, they got to make a commitment to Big Brother. So what is that? How does that work? Um, what do they have to do? How do the characters seem to respond to O'Brien and to the inner party? Because remember, O'Brien is the inner party. This is our first encounter with the inner party. Everybody else has been part of the outer party. And then lastly, I really like the talking points of who do they toast to or what do they toast to at the end? So they have a drink and they toast to blank. So try to fill in that too under your notes or talking points, okay? So um, good luck with reading. I'm curious to see how you return back to 1984. And until the next video, read, read, read. Thanks.